It has been quite a morning for commuters trying to navigate the wet roads and in some cases dealing with flooding conditions on the roads. Let's go live to WTOP's Kyle Cooper, who is out on road patrol. Kyle, we believe you're in Montgomery County. Tell us uh, where exactly you are and what you're seeing. Yeah, John, I'm not too far outside of a German town, and this is the best conditions I've seen for the last two hours, believe it or not. Just a light sprinkle where I'm at at the moment, but the damage has been done. The roadways have ponding all over the place. As I was coming back down from Damascus in that area, um, there were some trees across the roadway, uh, 27 south near Damascus. They had to, like, shut down one of the lanes and cut this tree up to let people go by. You're going to see that in this conditions like that around all over this morning uh the only thing now john as i'm as chasing that storm north that one's blown out now, now i'm heading back south and i'm looking out to my west and to the south where things are looking darker so i'm heading down that way we're gonna see what we see but if you're out just look out for the ponding look out for the trees down and just take it easy out there reporting live outside of Germantown on 270 Kyle Cooper WTOP News. While the conditions here in Northern Virginia have been a roller coaster since early this morning, I started the day in Bellevue, then traveled to Old Town Alexandria, which is where I am now. The roadways definitely are wet and people seem to be taking their time driving. Here by the waterfront, police are still blocking off a portion of Union Street that is flooding because there were some people trying to get through. As always, drivers are urged to turn around, do not drown. Also over at the river, the water level already has reached the dock, overflowing into the park. In Old Town Alexandria, Cheyenne Current, WTOP News. Here along Dock Street in Annapolis, people reported to their jobs not to serve customers, but to clean up. I mean, trash cans everywhere. <laughs> Literally everything's floating away, so we'll have to just locate that later. Kiri Lynch works at Dock Street Bar and Grill, where at high tide around 9 a.m., the water inside was up around her calf, approaching her knees. Outside, it was knee-deep in a lot of areas, meaning you had more ducks waddling past than you had cars driving through. Unconfirmed reports are telling us that this is the ninth worst flooding we've had on record, which is the first time we've had two top 10 events within the same year, the other one being January 9th, that was the third worst on record. But Nicole Torres with the Annapolis Office of Emergency Management says the worst of the flooding the city sees this weekend should be over. In Annapolis, John Dome and WTOP News.